Does losing even a single mark feel crushing? Are you trying everything you can to become a topper but still can't reach it? You must be missing something important. In this video, we'll see something that is common to all toppers that you don't have and the surprising benefit of not having it. What do you think is the biggest difference between you and the student who always scores rank 1? Determination, time management, hard work, responsibility, do they respect and obey teachers more or they have better study methods? All these things equally matter and can help you secure more marks. But there is one big thing that makes the biggest difference and that is the fear of making mistakes. Apart from determination, this fear drives many toppers to learn and revise day and night. Like how you remember your favorite song's lyrics, this revision helps them remember every detail better. This is great and it definitely helps them secure good marks and ranks in board exams. But when they get into engineering college and when they get out of it, many toppers struggle. In the real world, the syllabus is wider, more complicated and it is necessary to look beyond textbooks and tutorials. They are overwhelmed, stressed and scared of making mistakes even more. In fact, studies show that 87% of students in urban engineering colleges and 60% in rural engineering colleges feel significant stress. And many who were toppers in school perform poorly in engineering college. But then, isn't making mistakes bad? Isn't avoiding making mistakes a good thing? And how come people who are not scared of making mistakes actually succeed better? Joe Bowler, a professor at Stanford and the author of Limitless Mind, tells about the surprising benefits of making mistakes. Joe Bowler points out to something very interesting. School textbooks are designed so that students get most answers right. Sounds great, right? But she's saying that that's actually the problem. Why? Because in real life, problems are open-ended and way more challenging. Solving them means thinking differently, exploring multiple solutions and not just one correct answer. But Jo doesn't simply just talk about this. She runs math campaigns for young students. Come, let's listen to what they have experienced and learn from this. I can never do anything. I'm not good at it. I'm just going to give up. Everybody's going so quickly and I thought if I didn't go quick, people think I'm like not smart. I made a lot of mistakes and I got really sad about it. You make a mistake, you're pretty much done. I can't do it fast and they're so smart because they can and I'm not smart and I just kind of stopped. I love it. That does look like a keyboard. I've done better with math when I was talking with people, sharing ideas. Four or five grains work better than one. I'll see it one way, but then someone else will see it another way. And I'll be like, oh my gosh, that makes so much sense. Have more than one way to solve the um, question. Because in real life, you're not going to just do one thing. You're going to do many things. You're going to need to use different methods. You finished the math. Yay! You make your turn. Hold on, hold on. Take your time and just experiment with every way that could possibly work. You definitely have to be patient because certain problems, they take forever. Math isn't about speed and you can make mistakes and you learn from them. So it is clear, one must not fear making mistakes. But here's the problem. Ironically, making mistakes isn't easy. In exams, every mistake gets penalized. Teachers, parents, they spot the errors. And then what happens? Criticism. Over time, students lose confidence. Joe Bowler in her book says something very powerful. Students need an environment where mistakes are encouraged. But why? Because mistakes are how we learn and grow. But let's face it, most schools and colleges don't create the kind of space required for it. And then what they focus on is perfection, not progress. It takes a true friend to encourage and support you towards growth. Joe also mentions about the learning pit and strongly believes that it is essential for better learning and success. And a friend effectively helps you climb the pit. Not just friends, even mentors treat you the same way. When you move to college, imagine walking into a classroom not just to listen to a lecture, but to work on something real. You're given the freedom to explore explore, try new things, and yes, even make mistakes. It's not the typical professor-student relationship. It's far more personal. It's focused on you and your progress and your journey. Some universities offering advanced B.Tech computer science engineering programs powered by Calvium have dedicated mentors assigned to each and every student. If you make a mistake, they don't criticize you. Instead, 
they help you understand why it happened this helps you correct it in the future not only improving your scores but also building the skills and confidence for the real world want to know more about such advanced btech csc programs watch this video